Sumptuous, I think is the word. It feels luxuriant, like like bare feet on a really thick carpet. Hey everyone, and welcome, welcome. Come on in to another episode of Into the Music. My name is Greg, and what we do on this channel is that we react to great songs. At least we hope so. Um, and I got John over here. And I'm going to give him what I think is a great song. And I hope he's going to love it. Love it. Um, but we got to keep it real. Right, John? You're going to keep it real? You're going to, like, play cool and like that and tell me how you really feel? Absolutely, daddy Yeah, <laughs> Yo, that's groovy, baby. All right. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to give you uh, a song from an artist that I'm not sure if you know about. Um, her name is Aldous Harden. That's her name. Aldous Harden. Do you know it? Not at all. Okay. No. Um, she has a song. She has some songs that I love. This one is called Fixture Picture. And uh, cool sounding name, I think, for a song. And I think you're a cool guy. You're a cool cat daddy -o. So how about you go take a cool song and go listen to it and let me know uh, if it's in your bag. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> So It's ringing a bell. I've not heard this before, but it does remind me of someone else. I've got at the back of my head, Brendan Benson. Some one of his songs, I think. I mean, it's just the guitar, you know, those chord changes. I, I'm not a guitarist, but um, I don't know if they're simple or complex, or but it works really well. Just really nice. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna bring that back and let's do that again. Thank you. 
don't know why, but that was a killer chorus. It really got me. It's kind of old fashioned in a way. This could have been done 30 years ago or two years ago. I don't know. Um, I can't place her accent as well because this is English speaking, but maybe something else as well. Um, certain words seem to have a little bit of a weird emphasis on them. Um, I wonder if she's singing about an object as his face folding photograph. And I wonder if that object also represents a relationship. She doesn't, it's not like a bitter song. It's kind of a little bit wistful and a bit playful. It's got a lovely vibe to it. And that string violin, I'm guessing, really nice as well. This is good stuff. Back a wee bit. Just let that chorus start again. I think is a word. It feels luxuriant, like like bare feet on a really thick carpet. Um, yeah, it's totally wrapping me up. I mean, it's a simple song, um, but yeah, it's hooked me. I really, really like this. This is beautiful. I won't go back. And stop.
Hey, I see you back. Hmm. Tell me what you thought about Fix Your Picture. Will be a fixture on your revolving playlist? I would say absolutely. Um, it hooked me completely. I know. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, oh, cool. This was a really... I, on the face of it, and dissecting the song or whatever, I cannot say why, but <laughs> I loved it completely it's one of the my favorite songs that you've given to me and it's it's not you know um, songs are higher and it's not the ting tings but you know it's up there (laughs) that's not my name that's not my name (laughs) (laughs) oh oh, oh. okay (laughs) um Okay, so the song itself, um, it's not, um, it's quite an intimate song in a way. Um, it starts off a gorgeous uh, sort of guitar. Um, I was listening to it, and after about a minute, I was thinking, I've heard this. And then I realised I hadn't heard it, but it was ringing really strong bells with um, another song, and I cannot think of what it is but it's by an artist called brendan benson so, and i've only got one album by him which is called la polco um and i've god knows how many years ago that was 15 years ago probably okay. um but there's a song somewhere on that album that is similar chords and a similar feel but it's not the same but which immediately made me like it but again i don't know the chord changes were just perfect um and it was familiar but interesting at the same time do you know what i mean some songs you hear and you think oh, i've heard this before it's familiar even though you haven't because it just works and she's you know there's a million one different chords you can and I, i'm guessing in terms of the way you play the card you can only go to so many chords physically but you know there's as we know from all the songs out there there's so many millions of combinations and she's just hit on gold there with those. I mean, absolute gold. And she starts singing. Um, her voice is really nice as well. And there's something about the way she was singing. I got this feeling. I don't know if English... It's almost like a, I couldn't place her accent. I mean, it, she's not... Oh, well, lame money, she's not British, 100%. I don't know what she is, but certain words just slightly had a sort of twang to them. It wasn't the same as a British or an American singing. So I don't know if she's foreign national or part of the old empire, <laughs> but whatever, you know. Do you want me to tell but, you? Go on then. New Zealand. Oh, it's a Kiwi. All oh, right. Do you know, I can't think of another New Zealand artist that I listen to. Yeah. Uh, plenty of Australian. But yeah. I can't think of the news. Well, there probably is, but I just don't know that New Zealand, you know. Well, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, anyway, back to her uh, vocals are just beautiful. Um, I think she styles, though. I mean, I I just, I I've, I think I've heard her because I was so taken by her. I'll go right quickly back to you, just really quick. Sure. I, you know, I was taken by her music and I got some other songs, too. And uh, so I was like, I, I got to just check her out. You know, sometimes you're so enamored by an artist. Yeah, you know, yeah. wanna, like you want to get into them a little bit. And I think her voc- I think her regular voice isn't like this. So I think she puts a little bit more style. I think there's a little bit of style too. I think it's some of it is accent, but I think there's also this kind of style, something that, you know, um, which if I'm right on, wow. I think. Well, that's I good. Think, yeah. She's got that got that in her in her bag of tricks that she can do this i think so she's very she's very wow. clever and very innovative i mean when you mm. listen to some of her i mean if, if you really like this and it sounds like you do i got another song uh the barrel that's on the same album it's so good and it's so different but go ahead man please continue yeah so i won't dissect it night by note and this but the chorus was just lovely was yeah. lush. I said in the video, a stupid metaphor, but I said it was 
uh, it was sumptuous. It was like walking on a really thick carpet in bare feet, that sort of feeling, you know? Oh, it's kind of, ah, oh, it was lovely. It really was. Um, yeah. It's kind of old fashioned. I don't know when this was done. I am suspecting this is in, I don't know, something about the production, maybe in the noughties uh, or even later. I wouldn't say this is going back to the 90s or 80s or whatever, but this could, and it wouldn't fit in the 90s or 80s, but this could have been done in the 70s, 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That sort of song, you, you know, with yeah. decent production. I mean, it's really, it's kind of old fashioned in a way, the way it's done. It feels personal. Um, the other thing that I really liked um, was the sort of bridge pre the second verse and the sort of instrumental at the end. The string that came in the first time, I'm, I'm guessing it's a violin, um, yeah. it sounded yeah. like a violin. Yeah. The first time it had a, a, an electric guitar just mirroring some of the notes as well, and that was beautiful, simple. Again, not over-egging the pudding, but she just it just worked. And then towards the end, there were more strings, and I, I remember they were like they were like tumbling, loads of them, and it gave it that sort of um, vitality as well. And it's all for that sort of lovely warmth coming through. It just made it really full and wholesome. Mm. Um, so yeah, I was absolutely hooked. Love it. I would put it on a playlist. I would listen to this all the time. I was really, really impressed. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Don't know. I did not. I followed the sound of the words rather than what the words were, if you know what I mean. Because it was just that's the way it hooked me. Yeah. So whatever she was singing, she could have been singing in a foreign language and it wouldn't have mattered a jot to me because it was the melody within her vocal track was just beautiful. I want to get I into mean, it. I, I, yeah, yeah, I want to get into I, the I song. I think a little bit. Yeah. I think, I think she was actually singing about an object, this, you know, fixture, picture, um, but I think the object also means other things as well. And she talks at the start about your, his face folding up. And I was thinking photograph. Um, and I had this idea of a snapshot. And I think whether a snapshot represents an event in time or a relationship or a moment or something. Yeah. But it obviously it was a lot more than just an object. I actually um, have some information yeah, about that. Yeah, I cool. actually have. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, usually I'm like searching and saying, so everyone out there, tell me what you think, because I'm like, you know, um, but I actually have some information pulled up that we think we pretty. Um, it's a contributor, but I think the person is spot on. Um, but before, yeah, before you dig into that, Greg. Yeah, just I want to talk about the music, but go ahead. Yeah. Seriously, what hooked it? What hooked you about this? Well, that first song, "The Barrel." That right. that was just so unusual. You have to watch her videos too. So when you get a chance, uh, go check yeah. out go check out the video for this song. I just didn't use it because it's coming from her channel, and I didn't, right. didn't want to get blocked. Um, but you know, you saw that picture on the video, if you recall. Um, it's just her sort of sitting you know, with like a hat, and she's kind of like bent down in the mountains. Well, that's from the video. And you got to check right. it out. Just the way she kind of prances, she does this kind of, you know, sort of playful, sort of playing with the camera. She has the band members who are like in the background and they're kind of dressed up sort of weirdly. Um, and it's really interesting. But um, that song, Fixture, this one, he had Fixture Picture. But The Barrel is another one too, where um, she's kind of doing this prancing thing and the camera's kind of doing some work there that's making things even more interesting, you know, on top of the song really being interesting. So um, that took me, and then I was like, okay, I want to check out some more of her stuff. And it led me to this and some other things too. And I love this. I keep going back to the song. Um, I love I love the um, the clarity of the guitar, of the instruments, of that, of the, of the strumming of the guitar, you know, coming right in. Um, I love the slow pacing of the song. Um, uh, maybe some people might find it too sort of too, you know, uh, spaced, might be bored by that. I don't know. I just, there's something about, I, you know, the chords, I don't know if it's anything complex, but I think just the way every, the chords that, that were used and the changes and just how everything is kind of paced and then goes and moves and changes. There's just something, 
it sounds simple, but it's not, you know, there's real thought to that, you know, um, and the instruments that they used, you know, with the violin, it's just, it's a pretty song talking about sort of, you know, the feeling of the lush carpet beneath your feet. I mean, yeah, you know, there's just that comfort, you know, mm. <clears throat> that at some point the song becomes to me like a warm blanket, you wrap yourself around, you know, yeah. uh, to me, that's another, like, that's kind of a similar sort of analogy to what you, because I really feel like that, you know? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I was just taken and I just, and it's one of those mystery, myster- and all that said, it's a mysterious thing too, you know, what, you know, why does this song just absolutely grab you? And it just, you know, like, why is that girl, you know, you go, oh my God. And like, you're just, you know, the heart shaped eyes and like that. And you're, you're floating off, you know, the, the ground. Um, you, you just keep gravitating. So I think there's that mysterious thing too, that just that sort of, that ma- magnetic kind of thing that just pulls me in and it's continued to do that. So uh, yeah, um, she's a relatively young artist. I think she's 31 years old. She's been, uh, so she started, She start, her first album was 2014. She's put three out. This was, God. this was, um, I think this was her last, no, I think she might've put four out now. I think this is her third album, 2019. Um, the album's called Designer and um, the barrels also on that album too. So right. I think I'm going to put that down. I'm going to add that to your list. I'm going to have you do it at some point. So, yeah. And again, when you check her out, man, on, on the videos, she's so interesting. That's also the allure, you know, that's, that's part of it. You know, um, you, I, you know, she makes me want to get, get to know her and listen to more of her music. She seems to be, um, you know, I don't know about a diamond in the rough, but I mean, you know, she seems to really be kind of special, I think. And I'm really curious, you know, what else is coming up for her. So, yeah. That's interesting. I, just going back to what you said just a minute or two ago. Yeah. Do you know, I was so taken with this song. I didn't even think about the tempo. It didn't even occur to me it was a slow. Do you know, sometimes when you get taken away by something, mm-hmm. yeah. you don't even notice. And of course it is, but. But you they know, filled it up. It was filled with nice, it's just, yeah, that, that's what happens. I think like you were saying about the chords, whether they're simple or complex or what, when it just works, it's kind of like, it's elemental, you know? It feels yeah. like it's always been around and it always will be around. You know, this particular melody or whatever, you know, it's like the first time you hear, I don't know, yesterday or something, you know, you just feel like it's always been there. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, and just tapped in mind into that stream of gold, you know, and taking a bit out. And then it gets to the point where, I mean, if you really were trying to be honest and say, well, you know, this might be something I don't like, but I mean, you know, why do you love some something, you know, like, what do you love about it? I love everything about it. You know, cause yeah. I mean, when you, when you get to the love, you know, I love this, you know, it's like, I love everything about it. You know, if you take something away from it, then, you know, I probably wouldn't love it, you know, so I just love everything about it. And, and that, that to me, that's part of that mysterious thing, you know, yeah, yeah. Just, it's like, uh, yeah, you know, it just works. It's magic. I mean, that's why, that's why it's pretty cool. You know, that I'm so happy that I love music and I have music sort of take over me like this. And the way you're describing her, uh, I mean, all I know about her is her name. And what I've just heard, yeah. Um, so I don't know anything, but the way you describe it, I mean, and um, do you know the? It's funny, but that sounds kind of a bit like the way I think about Kate Bush. She's really interesting and different and yeah. challenging. Yeah, yeah. And and, and I'm to- I mean, I had a massive crush on her as well when I was a kid. So, you know, oh my god. But you know, she she's a hugely talented as well and interesting, and. Um, if she's anything like Kate Bush, then for, you know, in terms of her talent, I'm not saying about the right. music being the right. same. Right, creativity you know. and talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And my God, thanks for that because we, we need more of that in the world, definitely. So I'm on genius.com and uh, a contributor writes this. And I don't know, I got a feeling this person is tuned in to this artist and and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, okay, I think this person's right. So fix your picture is what this person is saying is, is likely a kiss off to Harden's ex-lover, Marlon Williams, who is the subject of much of her 2017 record, Party. That was the name of the album. However, the track is far from resentful. It instead expresses a 
contentness in moving on and reveals Harden uh, is now happier within herself today. She doesn't regret their relationship, but looks back on it and is at peace. The song may, may reference how Williams won the acclaimed APRA Silver Scroll in 2016 uh, for, his, for his duet with Harden. It's, a, um, it's called Nobody Gets, <laughs> Nobody Gets What They Want Anymore. The, the fixture picture itself might refer to the plaque that the pair were awarded upon winning. Ah. So that that's why I think, because sometimes, you know, you read something from contributing. That sounds that, reasonable, yeah. I, I think so. And so, you know, just the lyrics, because I think that, you know, like you said, you was kind of like you were kind of, like you were teetering, it sounds like, you know, a little bit from the lyrics to the music and the music to, you know. Mm. Um, Honey, your face is folding up as the memory kisses you goodbye. It's better to Yeah, live. that's, that's yeah. not a photograph or whatever, yeah. I mean, right off, right out of the bat. I mean, right off the bat, you know, with that. It's a great line as there. well. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's better to live with melody and have an honest time. Isn't that right? And then that pre-chorus, there's a definite vibe. You can't be pure and in love. In the corner in blue is my name <clears throat> in the corner. And then that chorus, I love it. Fixture, picture. I've got it, I'm on it, you're in it, I'm on it. Fix your picture, I've got it, I'm on it, you're in it, I'm on it. Then verse two, I'm on, I've never burned brighter. How's the wine where you live? Bet it's, bet it's expensive. Yeah, One, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it might be a little bit of a shot, right, from her? Yeah, yeah. Um, One day we'll share a glass together and we'll ride the dunes. I'm writing too. And then that pre-chorus again, there's definite vibe um, in the corner and blues my name. And the chorus, that wonderful, beautiful chorus. And I think that's it. Yeah, then it just takes it out. So just the two verses and that, like I said, beautiful um, carpet feeling in your toes chorus <laughs> and one blanket, you know, for me. So cool, man. Good. I'm so glad you love the song. You know, I really do. This is... Um, this is a good one to hang your hat on. You know, I think this is a good one to sort of hook into because she's still a young talent blossoming. I think there's, you know, a lot of stuff ahead for her. And um, if you if, if you hook on now, you know, um, you might be in for a nice ride. So. Cool. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This was, um, if this song was being seated at a wedding reception, just top table, it wouldn't be at the back. With the racist auntie and the uh, and the you know the daft uncle, this would be on the top table. It really would. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to take us out and say, John, you have a great night. Um, thanks for making my night. You you really did. Just your validation of the song. That's so cool. And for people out there who are watching this because you like love this artist, let me know why. What do you think about the song? Do you think it's one of her best? The best. Um, yeah, and the barrel. That's something that I'm going to give John. Um, and in the meantime, we'll see all of you on the next episode of Into the Music. Sure.